Yo, what's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel movie files elliot back again with a brand new movie review and today we're discussing a film that had a lot of buzz at a sundance earlier this year and that is a new drama by the name of coda which i recently got a chance to check out and i'm so excited to let you all know what i thought about the film and let you know if it's worth checking out either on apple tv plus or in theaters on august 13th all in this spoiler free review before we break it all down do me a favor and make sure you're checking me out on all my other social media accounts if you're new to the channel welcome to the community consider subscribing to the channel and while you all are at it, make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you can get the alert for when I drop new content. If you all enjoyed this spoiler-free review, well, make sure to like and share this video. It helps out the channel a lot, but I also appreciate the support. And in the comments, whether you saw it at Sundance, whether you saw it on Apple TV+, Plus, or in theaters, let's discuss this film. Your pros, your cons. Were you invested in the characters? Were you emotionally invested in the story? Did you have a good laugh, a good cry, or were you disappointed? Do you not see the hype? Were you not emotionally invested in this film? Let's discuss it all in the comments below. So again, I had mentioned it. I had heard a lot of good things about this film at Sundance. Some people were suggesting that this could be that kind of Sundance darling that goes from the Sundance Film Festival all the way to the Oscars. So with that in mind, and also I've been saying it for years now, but I'm a big fan of Apple TV+. Plus. They don't have the quantity of a Netflix or an Amazon, but they have the quality. So did it stick to landing? Is it worth checking out? Starting off with my positives, I got to say, first and foremost, I was so invested in this story. Story. I was so invested in these characters and I got so this this film has so much heart and it has so much emotional payoff when you get to the third act of the film and I'm not gonna lie I have no uh, problems admitting my emotional connections to the film I got pretty emotional I cried I want to say let me let me recall my my cry meter I think I, I want to say I cried at least four times and most of those cries came in the third act of this film which was just like the emotional peak of this film but let's talk a little bit about this film first and foremost it is a it is based upon a film that came out I believe it was a French film that came out in 2014 it had a little bit of controversy behind it it was more of a comedy drama and some people feel like the comedy came from the deaf characters and also the controversy was the deaf characters were the mom and dad Frank in this case, they go by the name of Frank and uh, Jackie, but in that film, those actors were not deaf. So a lot of people felt like, why not bring in deaf actors? Well, in this case, every one of the characters who are deaf, and again, just kind of going over the synopsis, the basic premise is you have a family of four, Frank, Jackie, their older son, Leo, and their youngest daughter, Ruby. Ruby's 17 years old, and she's in high school, but Ruby is the only member in her family who's not deaf. So it leaves it on Ruby's shoulders to kind of be there for her family, whether they're they're out on the boat with their fishing company, whether they're selling their fish and she's 17, she's in high school, she's a great singer, she has a dream to go off to be a singer and maybe going to college and seeing what the outside world looks like. So there's a little bit of conflict going on in this film. So with all that being said, man, one of the things I took away from this film is the family. The family unit was so believable. You, They were a regular family. They had their highs, their lows. They fought. The mom and dad did some mom and dad things that some of us would never want to see ever. Uh, but I, I, I really was invested in their story. Individually speaking, we have Frank played by Troy Kotzer, who brought the emotional resonance to the character, had one of the most emotional moments towards the end of the film. He brought some of the good laughs in this film. He was just such a great character, a, a family man who was there for his family, who really wanted to keep the family together, but he sees that his daughter has a lot of potential and could go off and do some things in her life, as well as the mother, Jackie, played by Marlene Matlin, who I've never seen any of her films, but doing some research, she is an Academy Award winner, and I can see why, because she was so great in this film. She was there for her daughter, but again, that's her baby. She doesn't want her daughter to go out there in the outside world, and I just love the, the family unit there. Leo was a really good addition to the cast, but the star of this movie is played, you know, Ruby. 17 year old played by Amelia Jones who I've seen her only once in, in a Netflix show uh, earlier this year Lock and Key I thought she was great in this in that show but she was fantastic in this movie she carried the film in regards to bringing the emotional beats she really had a good job you know singing in this film I was really impressed by her vocal uh, abilities in this movie but more in particular about Ruby again just looking at the character breakdown here again she loves her family she's been there since she was a kid the only one in the family that can hear and, 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 and be that interpreter for a family but that's a lot of pressure and you see that struggle throughout the film she loves her family she wants to support her family but at the same time she wants to be able to 
to hang out with friends. She wants to be able to go out and maybe see what this singing ability can do and what can she can do in her life, which actually brings me to another great character in this film, a supporting role played by Eugenio Derbez, who is the musical choir teacher. And he brought a really good laughs to the film and had a really good funny joke when he meets the parents for the first time. But seeing their back and forth and seeing that character represent us as the audience saying, hey, Ruby, it's okay to let go. It's okay to explore different things in life and seeing if you could maybe do something with your singing career. So I love his addition as well as just, again, the heart and soul of this film is it just comes to the story of, and we've all probably come across these crossroads, whether it be with family or friends you get to a certain point in your life where, again, you love your loved ones, you love your close friends, but you have to go out and, and, and see what the world has to offer you. You still can be supportive, but you might have to be supportive at a distance. So I love that narrative that the film had to offer, whether it be, again, the emotional beats, which I felt were just so well earned. There's some good laughs in this film. Again, it's just so refreshing to come around this film that doesn't have all the, the nonsense and, and the acting was strong. The direction was really good. The writing was really good. I was just really invested in the story and it's just a, a good thing to come across these type of stories but it doesn't come without its flaws I do have some criticisms with the film I mentioned that this film has a a bit of a singing element to it right and not to be that guy but I just just a couple days ago I saw the Aretha Franklin film Respect and I felt like our main character, Ruby, was a really good singer, but everyone else, whenever they went to those singing beats, I'm just not personally a fan of like when they take older songs and make them the pop songs. That's not my cup of tea, but that's just a small gripe. But I will say when it comes to criticism, there is a love story involving Ruby and a character by the name of Miles who's in her high school, which by the way, Miles, I didn't even realize until I was halfway through the film. That is the same actor that played in one of my favorite musicals in the last decade by Sing Street. But that relationship between Ruby and Miles, I didn't really feel that connection. It wasn't necessarily the chemistry. I just didn't feel like it was earned and, and just didn't, it wasn't as fleshed out as the other elements of the film, like Ruby and her her best friend, Ruby and her family. So that, that love story was one of the more or weaker elements of the film and I feel like the payoff really didn't uh, earn its you know when we get to a certain point in the film I just didn't feel their, their connection but outside of the you know the the musical pieces and, and, and not all the singers being that great and that uh, that uh, connection between those two characters Ruby and Miles those are my really my only criticisms that kind of come to mind and, and I will say the film does have its predictable moments, but I'm okay with predictability if you give me those emotional moments that are earned towards the third act of this film. So with all that being said, before I give you all my overall thoughts and my score, if you haven't already, make sure to like, share, comment your thoughts in the comment section, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell. That way you don't miss any other content. Overall, Coda is a must-see film of this year. It's a film filled with heart. It's a film filled with earned emotions. It has incredible performances. It will make you cry. It will make you laugh. I was thoroughly entertained, and I can see where all the hype comes from. With all that being said, I'm going to give Coda a 4 out of 5. Now, I personally, I don't know if it has like best picture type of buzz going to it. I, I found the film to be great at what it was. I didn't find it to be exceptional at everything, and I don't see it getting those nominations that a lot of people are considering but I can see some supporting roles for the mother uh, as far as that goes but neither here nor there awards no awards four out of five I recommend you all check it out again if you have Apple TV plus again Apple TV plus is only five dollars ladies and gentlemen it's a lot of great quality stuff on there and this is one of them so I recommend you all check it out either on Apple TV plus or if you get the chance to see it in theaters which I believe all theaters are going to be playing it with captions definitely go check it out. You won't be disappointed. And when you all see it, let me know what you all thought of it. Your pros, your your cons. Were you emotionally invested? Did you have a good cry? Did you have a good laugh? Or were you disappointed? Let's discuss it all in the comments. Again, if you all have stuck around to this point in the video, thank you so much. Again, just a friendly reminder to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching this review. Hope you're staying safe, and we'll see you on the next video.